What are you? So yeah. Any medical issues that I should know of? Not that I'm aware of. And how long are you here? Have you got your return tickets done? Uh, I haven't bought any return tickets yet. Yeah. That's good. Just gonna see how I feel first. And so you want me to take care of the beard and uh, mustache, is it? Yeah. Have you come alone? Yeah. Okay. Do you already know the design of the beer that you want to have? Uh, I think so. Okay, cool. Show that to you, please. Sure. Do you guys have Wi-Fi? Yes, we have Wi-Fi. Okay. Uh, we can get... She's in here for Wi-Fi. Meanwhile, let's check the lower area. Sure. Yeah, I never have any like hair loss or anything. Nothing, and you don't have any issues. No. Okay, right. That's good. Have you had any treatment for this before? No. Oh, okay. uh, so it's like this. Pretty much, when every beard and uh, mustache transplant patient does the like that. We will design the beard and the moustache as per what you desire. If you in certain areas, we might say it's not a good idea if you have very uh, different shapes. But otherwise, as a normal shape, we will do. Then we harvest the follicles on the back of your hair. Yeah. What we generally do is we harvest single follicles and put them on the front line, yeah. and then we harvest double or triple follicles and put them in between to make it look hairs. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's all done in the local anesthesia, which means you're not going to sleep, uh, but it's done in the operating theater. So you know, have okay. good lights, and we generally have a team of four to five members uh, that will be doing this. Yeah. So we'll have one anesthesiologist who's going to be monitoring the whole parts and everything else and monitor that while we do the procedure. Uh, initially, you'll be like this in this position while we harvest. So the plan is like this you'll have to have a clean shape. Then we draw the exact thing that you want. Then we plan the follicles that we need. Then we go harvest five percent more than the yeah. planned follicles. Then we go and transplant it. Um, in your case, it might take like about four or five hours for yeah. the entire procedure. Uh, you can have your breakfast and come. That's what mm -hmm. we generally do. Then it should be done around about lunch, a little after lunch. Okay. Um, then we will have IV line, so there will be a small prick on the hand. There will be a few small injections we give on the back of your head. That's about it. This should be okay. Yeah. The next thing we do is, um, so we put some bandage and we let you go to the hotel. Day three, we will need you to come back. When we remove the pack, just clean up everything, make sure everything is yeah. good. And then you're actually good to leave. Yeah. But if you do want to hang around for a week more or something, you're more than welcome. But the thing is, it's pretty warm out here. Yeah, it is. And I don't want you to venture out in the sun after transplant yeah, exactly. because that can kill or can cause not yeah. good effects for the follicle. That's yeah. something we really have to remember. Because this time of the year, uh, you know, uh, here is 35 degrees and 34 and all of that, so you shouldn't do any sightseeing. Any sightseeing that you want to do, you want to postpone by 10 days post surgery or do it before. Yeah. But not in the first week. You're not going to have any pain. You will feel comfortable, yeah. but it's not good for the. How long will the redness stay on the face for? Three days. Three days. Usually. Yep. Uh, but the fact that the follicles are put in and the fact that people can notice something is being done can be there for as long as 10 days to two weeks. Yeah. So let's say you go and you fast forward 15 days from the day of the transplant. Probably people are not going to know that you've done anything at all. No. The new follicles will grow out roughly the same way your existing follicles will no. grow out. So it's just going to So will it appear different than the hair that I have like currently? Like if I just like shaved it a bit, will it No, different? as it grows, it's not going to look differently. Okay. Uh, and after a few months, see the full results will take about six to nine months. Mm -hmm. Because you know, the hair follicle cycle is such, it's not going to show up immediately. 
you will see immediate results, but for the results to really make sure to get the final result, that can take a year, but my mm -hmm. is what we normally tell patients. What makes it like, take so long? Because the hair life cycle is such. Uh -huh. Because you know, you can pluck out these follicles in a receiving phase or in a phenocytic phase. So, uh -huh. depending on that, it takes a longer period for the eventual result. But once the follicle is taken up here, it's not going to die. Yeah. It's for life. Because we're going to take the permanent hair follicles. Yeah. Right? So, once it's in, it's in for life. Uh -huh. um, that's about the surgery. If you have any questions, I can answer them for you. Mm -hmm. And then, since we're taking the hair follicles from the back of the head, will it potentially like prevent growth of hair back here? No, no one is ever going to make out or find out that you lost any hair from it. Okay, anything. so it won't cause any like hair loss. No, 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 not at all. Okay. No. Got it. Um, Perfect. All answers done? Uh, <laughs> let me check my... You can show me your picture also. Yeah, I'll be fine those. Um, so when can I like, shave afterwards? Uh, we usually say a month. A month? Yeah, okay. so maybe a month and a half is also good enough. Okay. A month for sure. Got it. I think that's, that's everything else. At least of shaving, you can trim. I okay. recommend trimming the first couple of times. Okay. So you have to go very close to the skin and yeah. eventually you can start doing that. Yeah. yeah. You can use maybe number two size or something okay. and trim up. And then actually, if you like to grow your beard, then I mean, mm -hmm. that's easy. <laughs> yeah, so can I just like start growing it like right away? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. 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 So we'll start growing it right away, no problem. Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do is, uh, you will talk to my executive. He's going to schedule the surgery time for you. Okay. He's also going to do the rest of the paperwork. And then after that, once you know the time, then you can come on that morning. You usually start in the mornings. Yeah. Uh, and so then we finish. Nice. Yeah, that's what we will do it. So hello everyone, uh, here we have uh, with us a wonderful patient who's traveled all the way from US and uh, he's come here for a beard and a mustache transplant. So what we have done here, these markings that you see, he has scanty hair over the mustache region. He wants more density. So uh, this is the occipital area, the donor area, which we are going to shave off shortly. We're going to start the trimming and all the follicles will be harvested from the occipital region, that is our donor site, using the follicular unit extraction technique. And we will be grafting it over this site, which has been marked both over the mustache as well as the beard. So uh, this patient in particular is desirous of increased density and that's what we're going to give him. Uh, so all the follicles are going to be placed near um, one another. So many patients have different, um, uh, you know, desires that they want uh, a little distance, they want it a little scanty, shouldn't be more dense. But here, uh, he is desirous of a dense beard and a moustache. So this patient's going to be on a liquid diet for a day or two. That is just because we do not want much movement of the mouth. Um, but apart from that, um, the post-op is uh, easy, nothing, nothing much for him. Just usual routine antibiotics for a period of five days, antibiotics and analgesics. 
uh, he can expe- expect mild pain uh, minimal swelling but it will all settle down in a week's time this is the back one yeah mm-hmm. so you want to do back you want this to do back um i want like the the tip possible just like up here and just like keep up here is that possible or or do we need that for the
Ngegas with us tonight okay so that you don't have to go out in the night yeah. tomorrow morning you can leave they'll get you some juice and Perfect. some fresh drinks we're going to make sure that this is wet uh, so and moist mm -hmm. so they're going to apply the spray for you every half an hour while you're here after which tomorrow you have to continue applying the spray once in 45 minutes that's the most important thing okay. uh, you're not going to get much pain from the harvested area but you might get some dull aching pain around the face from tomorrow morning. I was getting like earlier, like, like a lot of pain here. Are you having pain right now? No, not yeah. anymore. So we've just given you pain meds. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you should get it again, but in case you do, please let us know. Yeah. So then we can give you an appropriate pain meds. Uh, with regards to food, not don't go heavy. They get you some juice and liquids yeah. and cold items. That should be fine. Okay. Yeah, you want some of the lights turned off. They'll do that for you. Okay. Yeah. And. Uh, We'll try to not have the fan on as much, but we'll have the air con on so it doesn't dry it. Mm. And every 45 minutes, it just keeps splashing some water okay. on your face. So maybe it'll disturb your sleep. <laughs> maybe the night we can give an hour and a half. It really yeah. needs to be moist so that they take up well. Yeah. All right. Take care of anything. We'll let you know. And tomorrow is a, a busy day for us, but not a problem. We still be here till about 10 a.m. Okay. By the time it's really feeling good because mm. you're you got to go on your own. Yeah. So we're not going to let you go till you're totally fine. Mm. Then you can go back to the hotel and we'll let you know okay. how you take off. Okay. okay. We'll put you on some uh, antibiotics. And the procedure was fine, right? Our team, they got a, did a good job. I was getting mm. regular feedback. I came in and saw a few times and I was like, uh, it's because when we do more than um, 3,000 odd, yeah. it takes time. Mm. Even though we're a big team, it takes time. And then... Yeah sterility and yeah all right so you take care we'll um if there's anything let them know okay. so somebody will anything just anything okay okay yeah pain in hungry thirsty <laughs> give you another 
another uh, full bottle of normal saliva. So you can periodically do it, spray and you know, keep spraying. Okay. And don't venture much in the sun, it's very okay. hot. Yeah. So that's something you have to definitely avoid. Okay. Food you can start eating normally now, yeah. whatever you feel like, no okay. real restriction. And you know small scabs are being formed, you see? Yeah. So you should prevent that by vigorously spraying so the mm. scab doesn't form. Yeah. That's one thing. Here it's quite nice, but in a few areas there's some blood clots and scab where you can irrigate mm. a little bit more firmly. Okay. Alright, that's the only thing. Take the medications and uh, this we will take it off on day three. Okay. So you're going to come back the day after okay. to here. You can go today, come back the day after. Okay. And we we'll remove that, do another dressing and everything, mm -hmm. and then you can hang around for the week or yeah. 10 days or 3 days or how many time yeah. you need. Mm -hmm. You feel like then you're good to go back. Okay. So, yeah. I recommend you stay at least for a week. Okay. Uh, maybe 10 the max. Yeah. You should be fine. Yeah, so like next Friday. I'll sure. Be good. You, you can book it tickets by then if you want to next week. Okay. Got Take it. care. If there's anything else you need, even while you're in town, okay. we have a manager's number. He can help you out. Okay. If there's anything, yeah, any issues you have, if at all, I, I just hope you don't have anything. But it's in case. Okay. It's all good for you. So take care, and I'll see you. Okay. I see probably on um, Wednesday or Thursday. I'm actually going okay. abroad. Okay. Uh, for my work in Muscat, I'm going to be back on Wednesday. Okay. Got it. All right. Bye bye. Right. See you. Yeah. Dressing that you can remove by yourself. Okay. Is it hurting? Well, that's just the teeth, right? Yeah. Feels like you're gonna rip off my skin. Hello, sister. This day three, uh, following a beard and a moustache transplantation for him, I've just removed the donor's area dressing and uh, he does seem to have a few uh, bleeding points here. We're going to place a temporary dressing which he can take off on his own. Uh, but apart from that, uh, we are going to also spray a little more here. So these crustaceans that you see here, they are not good. Uh, we're going to clean that up a bit. Uh, we always tell our patients to spray every half an hour. But this area can be a little difficult for the patients too because it will all seep into the mouth. Um, apart from that, the other areas look good. The grafts are in position. And uh, after a beard or a moustache transplantation, around two, two and a half weeks up, we can ask the patient to even shave because by then the follicles have taken up. So apart from that, he can start taking a shower on day, maybe day seven to day eight. And uh, yeah, he's going to be around with us for another week.
we'll tell you, we'll show you how the follow up is um, by then. Or eleven PM tonight. Eleven PM tonight. Yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. No. So you've been applying it quite uh, forcefully now, yeah? Yeah. This is good. And uh, you can start having shower. Okay. Not in warm water. Okay. Normal water. Same thing. Don't expose it to any hot temperatures. Mm -hmm. So no sauna, no chlorine like in swimming pool, okay. not a lot of gymming or exercise because the sweat yeah. can damage. All of this you avoid for a month to okay. a max of a month and a half. Okay. And uh, you don't have to be that meticulous with applying the saline now, mm -hmm. but whenever you can, just apply. Okay. Not like it has to be applied yeah. regularly, like four or five times a day before mm -hmm. you go to bed, stuff like that. Yeah. Avoid strong soap, okay. but you can use gentle baby shampoo. Mm -hmm. We will give you a kit. That's the safest thing you can do. Did they give you a kit yet? Um, a box? No. Kit kondo no. Kondo other? I'll just tell you what the kit has. We generally be using the kit for people who have HD on the head. Mm -hmm. But it's also useful when you have a lot of follicles on your yeah. face. I'll tell you what the kit does. So it has different medicines for different days of the week. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, it comes with a shampoo. Um, it comes with a shampoo and it also has a lotion. Okay. Uh, this is an anti-dandruff shampoo. It's a mild one. You may not want to use it often, but if you want to just clean your face, yeah. this is better than a shampoo or okay. a soap, right? It's very mild. Yeah. Once a week is maximum. Now, this is the important thing. This is a topical solution of minoxidil, which is non-alcoholic base. Uh, you may use this maybe after two weeks, daily yeah. once at okay. night. Mm -hmm. And then these are different medicines, which it, it just tells you when you can take. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can take this for a month and the shampoo should last longer because you're going to use less quantity. Okay. That's the only thing you will do for two months. Mm -hmm. After that, after a month and a half or so, uh, I recommend you to trim and not shave. Mm -hmm. Within after a few months, you can do everything normally. It's just going to okay. be there. Got it. Will the hair like fall out? Some of the hair will fall out and okay. then I'll come back. Not all of them will grow up straight away. Because mm -hmm. it depends on which cyclical phase we have pulled them out from the head and we don't know that. Yeah. Hair has three cycles, you know. Mm -hmm. So one of the cycles is it falls off and then grows again. Yeah. As long as the hair root is there. Mm -hmm. So since we put the root in, some of them will straight away start growing. But some of them might fall off, might shed off and then grow. Yeah, I see. So it's, don't get alarmed if you think uh, a yeah. few of them just drop off. It's just part of the normal mm -hmm. thing. And you will want to wait for up to nine months for the final result. To okay. show up. I mean, that's when you will think, okay, this is the best it will get. Yeah. Um, you can contact us on our uh, follow-up number. Mm -hmm. So if there's any concern, anything that you have, always remember, especially the first month, the first month and a half, don't do anything that will increase the temperature or any mm -hmm. different thing. Yeah. I mean, uh, like wearing a tight strap. Anything you shouldn't do. Yeah. Because that can harm the follicles. They still... Um, like you know, early days after we've done the transplantation. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. So take this kit uh, okay. while you leave. Just one is enough. Um, 
That's it. You have any more questions for me? Uh, how long will it take for like the redness to go away? Like, it's what? almost gone as I see yeah. it, but probably a week more. A week more, yeah. Okay. But don't apply any cream on that. Okay, yeah. Because that can reduce the redness, but can harm the hair follicles. Yeah, definitely. Alrighty. <laughs> All so right. is, it, is it okay if I like sleep on like the side or is it... It's still, still... better you sleep on the straight for a few yeah. more days. Once in a while, if you just tell yeah. it's all right. Yeah. But not like this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do that for two more weeks. Okay. After that, it should be pretty much okay to... Got it. ...to sleep on the sides if you want. It's not going to cause any harm. Perfect. So how was your overall experience? Because you've traveled a long way. Yeah. I mean, we've had patients who come in from the US, mostly for like major yeah. jaw surgery. Oh, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We, we do get hair transplant also, but it's a long travel for you just for this. Yeah, I don't think like I don't think the beard transplant is a common thing, is it? Uh, it's not as common as a hair. Yeah. Um, because um, how do I say? It's also cultural. In the Middle East, it's yeah. more common. Out here, people are not that serious about a beard. Not yeah. not all of them. Uh, but it is getting more and more common. We do more mustache than beard. Mm. The other reason why people don't do a lot of beard is because it takes more time. In your case, you see, it takes six, seven hours. Yeah. The beard gets done like in an hour. There's no much yeah. issue. People go back with just a mustache. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's kind of a long time. It took a long time for yeah. you, right? It took about six hours. Yeah. It takes time. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, the muscles are there. They move. So it's not very easy to transplant it. It takes mm -hmm. a while to put it precisely in. And then you're looking at 3,000 odd grafts. Yeah. Yeah, um, so yeah, it takes. Yeah, I just wanted the beard, and I saw this was like the best result that I've seen on <laughs> YouTube. So, yeah, we do get all their like before and after pictures. We have excellent nice results days. with beards. Yeah, we've yeah. done lots of patients. Actually, we do also a lot of mustaches. The reason is because from my earlier years, I'm doing a lot of patients with clefts. Mm -hmm. And you know, with clefts, they have a scar mark. Mm -hmm. That's the best thing for them. Yeah. You put a few hair follicles for men, and then it's just like. They don't look like they ever had clefts, so that's like yeah. a move. So we started off with this as early as 2012. Mm. That was like really early days, even in the world yeah. for mustache. And then we did uh, more beard, and then we, of course, of the hair as well started. Yeah. So we have a lot of cases for a beard and mustache. Mm. Yeah. So I hope you're uh, going to be satisfied yeah, totally, yeah. as you're now. Yeah, I hope it <laughs> continues just like this and always yeah. like that. And uh, keep perfect. sending your pictures or let us yeah. know how you feel. Yeah, definitely. And um, how would you stay in our town? Like coming from good. LA, it was, what do you it think of Nagarkoil? Uh, I didn't have much of a chance to explore it from, but what, from what I saw, it's like very it's okay. beautiful. It reminds me of Colombia, like all the uh -huh. mountains. And yes, it is. It's, it's very it nice. It is very beautiful nature-wise. This yeah. part of India, Kerala and Tamil Nadu, a lot of trees, coconut trees, good beaches. Yeah. Unfortunately, you couldn't venture. I asked you not I to. Know. But if you happen to come down, you can make a holiday to Goa, Kerala. Yeah, I want to come back and just explore. Yeah. And if you do that, then let us know and we'll be yeah. more than happy to welcome you again just for a yeah, high visit. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. You take care. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to go up for another surgery, so you take care with yourself. Okay, and yeah. Did you. we give you enough medications? Are the medications all done now? Yeah, I think so. All done? Yeah. I think you're good. You don't need any yeah. more. Yeah, Start with this. This is just like, you can go through what's the content. The mm -hmm. contents are all mentioned there. You can, it's all very okay. safe stuff. Alrighty. All right. Thank you. Take care. Thanks. Safe trip. Appreciate and it. And stay in touch. Yeah. Likewise. <laughs> yeah. For the videos, could you just like hide like part of my face? Oh my god, yeah. you speak like an Indian now. <laughs> <laughs> this is what most Indian kids tell us, you know. We haven't yeah. told our parents. Yeah. You've come quietly. You come on from LA without telling your parents. Okay. Yeah. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye. Safe journey. Are the cool food on your day? You are right now.